Hello and welcome to Indian News with me, Zeshan Ahmed. In tonight's top stories, President declares that all government offices will be closed from 9 to 11 December. Government's task force sets up Mali Water Crisis Management Fund to raise the money needed to recover damages incurred on MWSC during Thursday's fire. President Abdullah Yamin rejects MDP's call to hand over presidency to JP, JP leader Qasim Ibrahim. President Abdullah Yamin has declared that all government officers will be closed from 9 to 11 December. In a directive issued by the President's office today, it was announced that the government officers were closed to alleviate the difficulties faced by the public due to the current water shortage brought on by the fire that broke out at MWSC. However, the directive states that the President's office will be open from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. President Yamin has previously reassured that Maldivian people that a steady and adequate supply of bottled water would be made available until the crisis is resolved. He has also appealed to the people to remain patient and united while working with the government to resolve the national crisis. A fund has been set up under the name Mali Water Crisis Management Fund to raise the money needed to recover damages incurred on Maldives Water and Sewerage Company during last Thursday's fire that has left the city without water. Briefing the press on Sunday night, Defence Minister Mohammed Nazim, who is heading government's task force handling the ongoing water crisis in Mali, said that the fund has been opened to allow everyone to make contributions in order to recover damages incurred on MWSC. While it is estimated that a whopping 20 million US dollars will be needed to recover damages, Nazim said that the opportunity to make donations for the Mali Water Crisis Management Fund remains open for both locals and foreign parties. We faced losses amounting to 20 million US dollars in the incident. So we have set up a Mali Water Crisis Management Fund to seek donations from our well-wishers and the public. Meanwhile, according to the Water Crisis Management Task Force, MWSC will give a 30% discount on this month's water bills. Revealing MWSC Board's decision, Defence Minister Nazim said that they are doing everything in their power to provide water to the houses in Mali. In that regard, he said that difficulties faced by people living in higher stories will be resolved within the next two days or so. We had a board meeting of MWSC today where we made a key decision. The decision is to give a 30% discount on water bills for the month of December for all residents of Mali. So you wouldn't have to pay 30% of this month's bill. I believe this is good news for all residents of Mali. Opposition leader, former President Mohammed Nasheed, has called for the country's presidency to be handed over to Jumhuri Party's leader, Qasim Ibrahim. But President Abdullah Yamin says that he's not paying attention to such statements made by Nasheed. Answering a question posed by a journalist during yesterday's press conference at the President's office, President Yamin said that power is handed over by the people and that it was President Nasheed's government that sold MWSC's shares to a foreign company. Sold shares of this company to foreign parties and I did raise my voice against the issue in my capacity as an MP back then. So I would have to hand over the reins to either the leader of JP or MDP, only when there is no other option under the circumstances. I have to say, I don't pay much attention to such statements made by Nasheed. 20% shares of MWSC were sold to Japanese company Hitachi Plant Technology for 16.3 million US dollars during the Nasheed administration. But the administration had said that at the time that MWSC's shares were sold to Hitachi at the rate of 305.9 US dollars per share for a total of 209.4 million dollars. Yesterday, MDP's Congress passed a resolution presented by former President Nasheed declaring that handing over the country's presidency to JP leader Qasim Ibrahim would be the best course of action at present. However, ruling party PPM says that the decision was unlawful. A statement issued by the party said that at a time when government is trying to solve the ongoing water crisis, MDP's resolution was a deliberate move to take away the country's peace and unity. China has sent 40 tons of bottled drinking water to Maldives in its efforts to help Mali overcome the water shortage it's facing since Thursday. 
The two flights carrying aid from China landed at Ibrahim Nasir International Airport at around 1 a.m. The aid was presented to members of the government's task force by Chinese ambassador to Maldives, Wang Fukang. While China has donated 40 tons of bottled drinking water to Maldives, a Chinese Navy ship also arrived in Mali last night with 600 tons of water. The ship has a water production capacity of 900 tons per day. The militaries of China and Maldives are now working to unload water supplies from the ship and distribute them to the public. While China has donated over 640 tons of drinking water to Maldives, the Chinese government has donated a sum of 500,000 US dollars to help resolve the crisis. We'll take a short break now and return in a few minutes. Uridu internet adi data hidumetta uge tereng tarak korani mulinga package take. Uridu mini data packs. Dhirufia heda kura wagon gadi raka tiri sembi. Dhirufia heda kura wagon dua laka sate kembi. Adi tiri srufia heda kura wagon hafta yaka sate ka fansa sembi. Activate Kurevuma star 929 hash dial Kurava. Benun Taku, Benun Iraku, Benun Varaka, Neta Vadadam. Welcome back. Criminal court extends detention period uh, for the pickup truck driver involved in the deadly accident that took place in the capital on Saturday night. According to police, the driver is the 51 year old male and he was given a 10 day detention period yesterday. Among the accident victims, four-year-old Shadwan Shafio of Harlif Kela succumbed to injuries while his father was left in critical condition with a broken chest wound and other severe injuries. ADK Hospital says that Shadwan's father is still in a critical condition, but the other victim is recovering. An expatriate has been attacked and injured this morning in Mali. According to police, the attack took place at around 11.15 a.m. in front of Star Cinema and that the man is now receiving treatment at Indira Gandhi Memorial Hospital. Police have arrested two Maldivians and an investigation of the attack is now underway. Health Protection Agency HPA sets up a hotline to help the public with inquiries regarding health issues that may arise due to the, due to the ongoing water crisis in capital Mali. According to HPA, any persons who wish to inquire about public health concerns regarding the crisis may dial 7644449 at any time from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. HPA has set up the hotline as part of its prevention program that aims to ward off a potential epidemic that may be caused by the unsafe and unhygienic management and usage of water during the crisis. Private TV broadcasters DTV and DFM have distributed refreshments to members of MNDF and the police force who are tirelessly engaged in providing water to residents of Mali City. As a goodwill gesture in recognition of the hard work being done by MNDF and MPS in providing water, the two stations distributed food items, energy drinks and snacks to members of the two institutions last night. The activity was organized to recognize the bravery and the courage of Maldivian soldiers and policemen at times of crisis and their unwavering commitment to serve the nation at all times of need. That's all we have tonight. Thank you for watching. Have a pleasant